and I've always had beef with people knowing that there was circumstantially something wrong with me. So I think a, uh, a chip on your shoulder is such a delicious thing to waste and I've got a big one on my shoulder. And I had a great life. I feel like I had a great life as a kid, but I think there's nothing worse than being poor or growing up poor than, uh, there's nothing worse than that than everyone knowing that you're poor. Uh, in fourth grade, I went to three fourth grades. In elementary in Federal Way, Washington, Kent, Washington, and finally where I grew up, where I feel like I grew up in Auburn, Washington, all suburbs of Seattle. I remember very, very vividly getting a quarter, dime, and a nickel. And I remember very vividly that everybody else paid a dollar. You know, people question that. If you were paying a dollar for lunch, and someone else was paying 40 cents for the same chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes, which was my favorite, then you would ask why. How do you respond to that as a 10-year-old? And I'll tell you, I didn't know. There, it, it ha that buying 40 cents has, a, has had a lasting impression, I think at first for negative, in that all I wanted was what other people had. And I've always had beef with people knowing that there was circumstantially something wrong with me. Me, look at that, I said something wrong with me. So wrong with our scenario. Because people, you know, kids don't see the mom and dad having problems. I think, you know, with TV portraying it more maybe, but it was always you, like you got a problem, Dano. You know, 40 cents, just, you know, it's a, it's a crazy picture. I always tried my best to hide it, but there's no hiding it if you wanna get your food. So, you know, I've had this chip on my shoulder and I think at first I wanted money, you know, in recent times within the last 10 years, you know, I've been able to answer, what would you do with money? And, uh, you know, I realize I don't need a lot of things. You know, I think that, that, that experience has always, when I, has always wanted others to, always wanted to keep others from that pain. Because that was an emotional pain. And so when I think of the, specifically the promises that I make. I don't want to talk badly about you know, other people, other consultants, other this, but in my type of style of professional consulting, I have to promise something. And that promise has to be something with a result. And my friends hate it because the results are not predicated on you playing the game. I think the reason that I need results, uh, sales results, money results, all those different things, span comes from that 40 cent lunch. I'm so obsessed with helping the people that I work with make money, and that's the truth of it. I'm good at that, operations skills, Jesus out of me, but if I had to ask why is that so important, why is hitting a number so important, it's because otherwise I'm short. And more importantly, like I look at sales professionals that I've hired and that I'm asking to help achieve a goal for a company and you know, putting in a manager in place to help them, if they fail, What's their life like? Did I just create another 40 cent lunch? That's crazy perspective for most, but I lived it. You know, it's crazy to think back. It was the fourth grade. It was 40 cent lunches, shopping at Goodwill, although I love shopping at Goodwill probably till this day. It, it transformed me. It transformed me. It gave me a chip on my shoulder, uh, and I would say both positive and negative. I was embarrassed, pissed angry. I wanted a starter jacket that wasn't used, <laughs> but I wasn't getting one. Uh, but then there's a greatness to it in that I, you know, I want to avoid that pain um, for anyone if I can. You know, people watching may say it's so good it created you. Again, there was good and bad of it. That's 40 cent lunches and the chip on my shoulder.